Well, good morning, everyone. God bless you. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church right here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. Amen. God bless you. So glad you're joining me this morning for Walking in the Spirit. And of course, many folks are coming on right now as we speak. Uh, praise God. What a great way to start off the week. Uh, had great services yesterday at New Life and just wonderful worship and a great word. And of course, now we're starting off the week, ready to roll and just uh, believe God's got a great week for you. As a matter of fact, drop that in the chat right now. This is going to be a great week. That's right. So often we need to just declare it, right? We need to speak things into effect, speak things into motion. And of course, making a declaration that this is going to be a great week, I believe is a way to start our mindset and our heart set in the right direction. Amen. It's going to be a great week because God has given us another day today. As a matter of fact, we know that this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and we're going to be glad in it. Amen. Drop in the chat right now. Some of you have already done it. Welcome, Holy Spirit. That's right. Welcome, Holy Spirit. You know, welcoming the Holy Spirit uh, into our lives, into our hearts, into our minds, first thing in the morning, and allowing the Spirit of God to move in us, and of course, use us to His glory and to His honor, and most of all, to give us the peace and the joy and the love that we need throughout the day, amen, to make it all a reality, to know that God is real in your life, and He's real in my life. And I want you to know that you are good. That's right. In other words, you're going to be all right. We go through so many changes throughout this life. It seems like you could be going great one moment. All of a sudden, it just shifts in another. And, and it just completely can be turmoil. But I want you to know that you're going to be okay. And I want you to also know that whenever you get a chance, be a blessing to someone. Amen. I just felt like encouraging somebody here this morning as we start our, our gathering, just to know that, you know what, what you do makes a difference. Your life matters. It does. There are people around you that are blessed when you show up. There are people around you that, uh, that maybe you may not even know. You might be walking down the street and just smile or just acknowledge somebody or just make eye contact and you know just you just never know how God can use you to be a blessing so everywhere you go just pray that God will use you even in the midst of the turmoil even in the midst of the issues God may put someone in front of you that needs to hear an encouraging word or maybe just needs a smile to brighten up their day amen well praise God well I want to get started this morning uh, and as we get started uh, the topic uh, or, or, the, or the, the title of our sessions today is Quick to Forgive. Quick to Forgive. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you and praise you for your word and let it touch our hearts and minister to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 23 and 24, it says this, Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar... And remember there that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Wow, that is so powerful. Think about that a second. God is talking about bringing a sacrifice, a gift to the Lord. It says, before you bring a gift to me, get right with your brother. Get right with your sister. See, drop this in the chat right now. Apologizing means you value your relationship more than your ego. Mm, come on, somebody. Apologizing, drop that in the chat. Apologizing means you value more your relationship than your ego. See, God puts a lot of weight on relationships. You know, the cross is both vertical and horizontal. Vertical being our relationship with God, and of course, horizontal being our relationships with one another. See, resolving differences that can occur with others is very important to God. See, we know that we're going to have conflicts. We know that at times we're going to disagree with people, even the ones that we love. But at that time, that's when we need to implement, right? And we're able to use the, the, uh, the gifts that God has given us. And one of them that really resolves almost every issue, <clears throat> excuse me, is forgiveness. 
That's right. Sometimes we can't always direct what people do or what people say. But we can forgive people quickly. Be quick to forgive. Because you know what? We all drop the ball at times. We all fall short. We're all human. We're gonna make we're gonna make mistakes. But when we do, or when someone makes a mistake towards us, we have to be quick to forgive. And not just quick to forgive, but also quick to ask for forgiveness as well. You see, reconciliation and forgiveness are vital if we're gonna maintain a healthy relationship with the Lord. God wants to make sure that you and I are right with people around us. See, at the end of the day, that is so important because we can't always, uh, we can't always be friends or be close to everyone around us, but we can live at peace and be cordial with people as well. Amen. And I believe God wants us to be quick to forgive because at the speed that we forgive others, listen to this, is the speed that he forgives us. So be quick to forgive because without forgiving others, it handcuffs God. And we don't want to do that. Amen. We want to make sure that God is free to move in our lives. We want to make sure that, that we can walk in the fullness of God's blessings. And you see, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that that prisoner was you. That's right. When we walk in unforgiveness, we trap ourselves, we imprison ourselves in a heart of bitterness that can turn into resentment as well. See, we don't want to go that way, do we? We want to walk in a pureness of, in pureness of heart and make sure that, man, that we walk with the freedom that God has given every one of us because we're not holding on to anything, any, any wrongdoings that other people may have done to us. Listen, release it, let it go. Ask God to help you with it, amen, so that you can walk in the fullness and the freedom that God has for you as well. And you see, I believe that one of the things that we can do to show love to others, because so many people right now just need someone that maybe just shows love. Maybe they need to know that somebody loves them. And one of the ways that we're able to express that love is by showing hospitality. That's right. Drop that in the chat right now. Show hospitality. In Acts chapter 2, verse 46, God's word says this. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Wow, that is so powerful. Hospitality is opening your home the way you open your heart. Mm, come on, somebody, drop that in the chat. Hospitality is opening your home the way you open your heart. See, loneliness is a plague that is spreading so quickly. So many people are just lonely today. You know, I, I spoke to one of our members who hadn't been in church for a long time. And when I finally saw her, I was so glad. And she explained how she was really suffering through loneliness and maybe felt like people didn't care. And, you know, I mean, I was quick to embrace her and tell her, you know what? We love you. We missed you. And, uh, and, and I told her, you know, stay connected to what God is doing here. I mean, a lot of folks are still living in fear with this COVID thing, and, and I get it. it. It can be very, very serious. But at the same time, we can't stay trapped and a prisoner to what could happen. Listen, there, tomorrow's never guaranteed. That's what the Bible says. So if we walk in fear, man, we could be afraid that we're going hit, to get hit by a car or something a negative could happen. At the end of the day, we take the precautions, we move forward in life, and we just believe that God is a God that protects us and guards us as well, right? See, many are missing friendships. So many people are lonely because they're missing friendships and enjoying each other's welcoming embrace. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. See, the power of love is displayed when we invite someone to our home and share a good meal and good fellowship. That's hospitality. That's just getting together with someone to have a great conversation. Oh man, I tell you what, it is so powerful, especially when you when you connect with someone because it's kind of intimate, right? To invite somebody to your home, to open them up into your space, to allow people in your space, right? It makes you kind of vulnerable. At the same time, what a great opportunity to reach out to someone and draw them in. And I believe that can create such a powerful, uh, uh, not just a, a, a get rid of loneliness, but also heal. 
That's right. People need to be healed sometimes. And sometimes the love and the hospitality you show can become very healing to someone that needs it. Amen. You see, hospitality is love in action. <clears throat> Come on, drop that in the chat right now. Hospitality is love in action. And, and I believe that we need to help others no matter what the circumstances look like. You know, so often, even as we're driving throughout the day and <clears throat> we go to different places, sometimes we see people that are in need. Amen. Let me get a little drink of this. <laughs> mm. Praise God. Thank you. And I believe it's in those times that we really, really need to keep an eye open so that we can help the needy. If I drop that in the chat right now, help the needy. In Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 11, God's word says this, For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor and your needy in your land. See, God commands his people to, to reach out and keep our hands open towards those that need help. See, drop this in the chat right now. No one has ever become poor by giving. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I tell people uh, that I talk to that I've never seen a person that gives lacking for anything. A generous person, a giving person is a person that's always being provided for because they're constantly planting seeds of love, of compassion. They're constantly planting those seeds. So there's always a harvest that comes back towards them as well. So they're never lacking. They're always blessed. You know, there is such a need in families today that lack food and clothing and shelter. Man, if there's a way for us to bless them, you know, even uh, here at New Life, you know, we, we have, you know, the thrift store, which uh, gives away food. Uh, and, we, and one of the biggest outreaches that we have is, of course, New Life for Youth Outreach, right? See, I believe that we need to pray and find an opportunity to bless the less fortunate and the broken and the lost. And for us, New Life for Youth ministering to young men and women who have addiction issues, uh, who have uh, lost a lot of, uh, of their lives, a lot of things in their lives, relationships and friends and families. And I mean, there's just, it's such destruction. But we see that we bring them into the program and they really apply their mind and their hearts to learning God's word, to, to allow the Holy Spirit to transform them and change them. See, I, I, we get to see miracles on a regular basis. So I believe that reaching the needy, reaching those that are lost and broken, sometimes those that no one else wants to reach, I believe when we do that, God will bless us. Amen. And that's why God will bless you as well. And, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, even that ministry of New Life for Youth, keep us in prayer. Uh, actually, we changed our name recently to New Life for adults and youth because they're adults as well, right? People didn't realize that we actually take folks 18 and up. But anyway, I just wanted to drop that in your in your heart today. And you know, this, that's, this ministry of New Life for Adults and Youth is always in need. So if you happen to go to the thrift store, to the car wash, man, just participate, give, amen. Get your car washed there, drop off your clothing. I dropped a bunch of clothes off this weekend. I've been cleaning, clearing out my closet. So it's a great way to take what you have and, and plant a seed and, and believe God to just multiply it and meet the need, amen. Proverbs uh, eleven twenty five says this, the generous soul shall be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself. Wow, that is so powerful. What a great word here that Solomon gives every one of us in the book of Proverbs to let us know that as we help others, God helps us. Amen. And that is such a wonderful thing. Plus, I believe it just makes you feel good, man. I don't know about you. I love giving and, and watching how others are blessed in whatever way possible, right? Whether you're giving your time or your talents or your treasures. And, you know, I had somebody walk up to me Sunday at church and they just said, Pastor Carlos, I appreciate what you do every morning. I really enjoy uh, the program of walking in the spirit. It really sets the tone for my day. And, you know, when she walked away after saying that, I just said, thank you, Lord, 
we're making a difference. Amen. Our sacrifice, my sacrifice, your sacrifice, it makes a difference in someone else's life. And that's always encouraging and a blessing to hear as well. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen, we're going to go, go into our time of prayer. So if you have your prayer list, right, make sure you pull that out right now. We're going to be praying over that in a, in a moment. Uh, so let's get together now and join our faith and believe God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful to be in your presence. We thank you, Father God, even this morning for waking us up, oh God, and getting us safely throughout this day. I pray you encamp your angels around every one of us, oh God. And Lord, even now, let your will be done in our lives. Today, we surrender all that we have, all that we are, and all that we're ever going to be. Every ambition and every desire, we lay it before you right now, Father God. We surrender it, Lord God, and pray you will guide us and lead us. In Jesus' name, and Lord, I thank you even now for providing for every need in our lives. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And Father God, we forgive those that have hurt us. We forgive those that have opposed us. Lord, let forgiveness ring true today, Lord God. And Father God, help us to forgive them. And Lord, help us to ask for forgiveness. If we've hurt someone, Lord God, help us to be quick Lord God, to ask for forgiveness as well, Lord Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, thank you for encamping your angels around us and protecting us as we travel to and fro all day long today in Jesus' name. So Father, thank you, Lord God, even now that we can... Uh, be quick to forgive that if someone hurts us, Lord God, let us not hold on to any grudges, but forgive it quickly, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Father God, bring people into our lives that need hospitality, that need, need to be brought in, Lord God, that we can share our homes, share our blessings with others, and be and just be a blessing to those around us, Father God, and, and help us even at the church to be hospitable to those that are that are guests, oh God, that they know that they're loved, that they know that they are valuable, that they know that they are in a place of safety. So Lord, thank you for the hospitality that you've put in every one of our hearts in Jesus' name. And Lord, help us to always keep an eye out for those that are in need, those that the poor, the hungry, those that are suffering through life. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Father God, because your word says to, to those that, that know what to do, that know what to do good and don't do it, it's sin. So Lord, help us, oh God, to always be that generous people that will be a blessing to those around us in Jesus' name. And Father, right now, we lay hands on the, our prayer request on this prayer list right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for those that need salvation, that today, oh God, you would draw them to the cross. They will ask for forgiveness and they'll be born again. So we just claim them right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, let salvation come to their homes right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we pray for divine healing God, you are the God that heals us, oh God. You are Jehovah Rapha, our healer. You sent your word and it healed every disease. Lord, it's by your stripes that we were healed. And I speak healing, divine healing over my brothers and sisters right now on our list and those that are listening as well in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray for deliverance, that you'll free the captive, those that are bound in addiction, those that are bound in bad habits, Father God, and, and hang-ups and things that hold them up, oh God, even to release the hurts in their lives, oh God, that they'll walk in the freedom that you have for them right now in Jesus' name. So Father God, I thank you and I praise you, Father God, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy this morning, oh God. And in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. Lord, and I glorify your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for restoration, uh, for relationships to be healed right now, Lord God, for for husbands and wives, Lord God, to come to, uh, to, to a place of agreement and of love and of acceptance and forgiveness. 
Heal, Lord God, families right now, Lord Father. Bring the, the children back to their parents, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we know that you are true and you are awesome and mighty God. So Lord, we thank you for restoration. We thank you this morning for miracles. Oh God, loose your miracle working power right now in Jesus' name. You know the miracles that many of us are praying for. Lord, we know the miracles that those that need it on our prayer list, in the name of Jesus, we speak it, we declare it. Let the impossible become possible today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for divine doors that are opening, opportunities, Father God, that are opening right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, for the divine favor that you've placed upon every one of us, that wherever we go, Lord God, your favor will be there. That we'll have favor with you and we'll have favor with with those around us as well, oh God. So I thank you and I praise you for your favor today, Lord God. And Lord, I praise you for the for dreams and goals that are being achieved today. I thank you, Father God, that the steps of the righteous are ordered of you and you will guide our steps in the right direction today, Lord God. So bless your people, Lord God, today. Give them a good day. Give them peace today, Lord God, that wherever they go, even in the midst of the trials and the tribulation and the turmoil, Father God, let them walk in peace. Today, my God, give, give us joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory, the joy of the Lord, which is our strength today. Let that joy rise up within us today, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. And, and most of all, let your love let your love cover our hearts and let us display that love, Father God, to others around us, that they will truly see Jesus, oh God, by the love that we have for them and the love that we have one for another. So Lord, I thank you and I praise you for the victory today, Lord God. Lord, you are such an awesome heavenly Father and we thank you and we praise you for the victory and we're always going to make sure, my God, that you get all the glory, that you get all the honor, that you get all the praise. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give the Lord a praise this morning. Wow, what a way to start the day. Amen. 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 Well, listen, I hope that you were blessed uh, by today's program, by the uh, the word that came forth. You know, the uh, I love the Bible studies, just encouraging you with God's word. And of course, the power of prayer. I believe prayer changes things. And I close every gathering with a scripture. And today's scripture is found in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. It says this, Therefore, with minds that are that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Christ Jesus is revealed at his coming. Oh, goodness. That is so powerful to set your hope on the grace. Come on, when Jesus comes back. Listen, just know that we're in those times now. Be prepared. Stay prepared. Listen, do the work of the evangelist, just like Paul encourages Timothy. You know, just always be sharing. Always be caring. Always be loving people around you because Jesus is coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. And I believe when we're doing his work and being the best that we can be for his glory, Come on, somebody, is when we know, praise the Lord, that we'll be spending eternity with the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Well, listen, I hope you are blessed today. This is a great way to start off the week. Amen. I hope you are blessed. Let me just pray a blessing over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray you will just strengthen your people, Lord God. I pray you will guide them uh, this whole day, Lord Father. And in Jesus' name, bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them. Be gracious to them. Lift up your countenance towards them and give them peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, listen, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. My name is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church right here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. I pray that you are blessed. And listen, as you go forth today, remember, you're awesome, you're worthy, you're strong, you're beautiful, and you are full of the Holy Spirit. 
in God's power, amen? So walk in victory today, amen? And listen, always remember that when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh, amen? God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Lord willing, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. with Walking in the Spirit. God bless you.